And welcome back uh, to the Rugby Football Union of East Africa grounds. And we're all set for a very mouth-watering semi-final between Kenya Harlequins and Impala. Sides who are neighbours, but there's no love lost between these two teams, Peter. Definitely not. The Gongro Derby here. Queens taking on Impala. Impala defending champions of the Kenya Cup. And uh, we shall be going pitch side, but these are results and fixtures. KCB uh, making it to the final by beating Nakuru by 20 points to 5. Very comfortable for the bankers. And we, they will await their opponents between Harlequins and Impala. It yes, that is definitely going to be a big one next week. But right now, the big one, what we've all been waiting for. And we're going to go pitch side for interviews with Herbert. It's a sunny afternoon at the RFEA grounds. The first semi-final is over. And KCB in the final, 2010 of Anakuru. With me now is the coach of Kenya Harlequins and also former Kenya international player, Edward Kinyan. Edward, this is the big one. The Gogrod battle, the second semi with your arch rivals in Pala. What do Queens have in store for us today? Um, basically, we want to play total rugby. We want to play in the forwards, we want to play in the backs. We want to mix it up a little, going for that prize. You, you, you lost only one game in the preliminaries. Was this by design or you were just uh, easing, the, uh, easing off the pedal as you awaited the semi-final? Um, essentially, the main aim was to get a home semi-final. And that was achieved before that. And what we decided to do was to try out the fringe players. So the guys who've been on the bench and not getting much game time. So we wanted to see what can they bring to the table if they start. And that's what we did. Having lost, uh, having been champions in 2008 and then you lost the title to Impala in 2009, what has driven Queens this year in 2010 to try and regain the Kenya Cup title? Um, there were was, was some lapses we had um, in 2009 which, which we ended up regretting at the end of the day and that was basically the league format, yeah? And then we lost some games to Main Machine and what have you and those messed us up. But um, with this kind of format, it's, it's, it was always a matter of get to the last four, play your semi-final. So winning or being the top in the preliminaries doesn't matter. It's now this game. It's winner take all. Well, Edward, thank you very much and we wish you and your team all the best. This is really a game that your team, I'm sure, has been looking forward to and the semi-finals are here. Bill Givinji, coach Impala and another former Kenyan international, former Kenya Sevens coach, but now back at Impala. As defending champions, is this the game of the season that you've been waiting for? We've been waiting for these last two games. We first needed to qualify for it and uh, we're happy we're here to take back our title. The last two games were a loss and a draw. Was that a form in dip or you having already qualified, you're not too worried about the results? Actually, it was a form in dip and uh, I'm hoping that that has come to pass. Uh, you lose a few games in a season and uh, allow it. Uh, just it will get the boys geared up again to get going again. Innocent Simiyu and Brian Nikuli back from the Sevens tours. Do they add something different into Impala? Are they the ones who will give Impala the cutting edge against Kenya Harlequins today? They're the spark. I mean, you can't take it away from them. They're good 15s players and I'm sure they'll give us a spark for today's game. Okay, well, Bill, as the coach of the defending champions of the Kenya Cup, we wish you all the best and we're looking forward to this game. It is here at the RFUEA game. Semi-final time, Kenya Harlequins, the contenders, Impala RFC, the defending champions, will be right back after the break.
And welcome back uh, uh, to the Rugby Football Union grounds. We are waiting for a very exciting semi-final match between Impala and Queens. Impala just putting finishing touches to their warm-up. And it has been filling up here. A very good idea to bring both semi-finals to one venue, Peter. It does generate that atmosphere that players do crave yes, in it does. a big game like this. Yes, it does. The crowds are milling in for this mouth-watering clash. Second Kenya Cup semi-final between Kenya Harlequins and Impala. Impala in red there. Just getting the charges set. Queens will be out shortly in their quarter jerseys. This is definitely, definitely the match of the day. Kenya Harlequins taking on defending champions Impala. Yes, indeed. And seeing that it's 2010 uh, World Cup here in South Africa, it's a bit of uh, an insight into what we'll expect this year. We're back to this glorious sunshine at the Rugby Football Union of East Africa, East Africa ground sorry, in Nairobi for the second semi-final of Kenya's Premier Club competition between Kenya Harlequins and the defending champions Impala. Weather has been kind to us. Been, it's been raining over the last few weeks. And those are the teams coming out. Impala are in red and white. Kenya Harlequins in their traditional magenta, burgundy. Peter, which are the colors? <laughs> <laughs> you can see the four for yourselves. Impala have had a good season. Two losses. They lost to Queens earlier, lost to Nakuru, and Queens with one loss in Nakuru. So 
both sides, hot favourites to lift the Kenya Cup in 2010. Who is going to emerge victorious? Only time will tell. There's 80 minutes of mouth-watering rugby, and you can see the faithful at the Rugby Football of Uni Union of East Africa ground. The crowd is full. It's jam-packed. And that's the Harlequins lineup. A side packed with the talent, brimming with the experience. No less than nine Kenyan internationals in this team. Joel Nganga, Vincent Ongera, and Daniel Kipto in the front row have been scrummaging together since high school. That is a partnership. Actually, it's a tri-partnership of, of almost 13 years. Second row of Owin and Mutai will be crucial. Bondo, Sude, and Aboga will be the back three and looking to launch their attacks. That's the one. And in Fala, nonetheless, with a complement of 15, Terera, Boga and Demi will lead the front row. Those are big boys. Umbuge at second row with Demi. Buyachi, the big former Nakuru player. Nikuli, the Kenya Sevens regular. Leo at number six. Scrum half. Moses Kola, former Kenya Sevens captain. He's going to look to combine with Simiu at number 10. Nato Simiu, younger brother of Namco Simiu, who's going to play at center. Omiyo, the other center. The back three, Gadumbi, Mose, another former Nakuru player, lethal at the back, combining with Asa. Those are the replacements. The Kenya Harlequins bench as Ashoya, Odipo, and Onyango, the very experienced players. Ashoya and Onyango just came back from doing duty with the Kenya Sevens team. Impala have Rachir, vastly experienced together with Dong. And those benches are going to be very crucial in how the coaches use them. Of course, Paulo Imbo, another impact player, will come off for Impala. Mugo, Makori, and Akasi, all impact players. So, Bill Gidinji, the Impala tactician, has got his charges on the field and on the replacements. So does Edward Kinyan. This is bound to be the match that rocks the boat today. Match of the season, indeed. When these two sides met earlier on in the season, it's Kenya Harlequins who beat Impala. Uh, it was a close game. And those are much in it. And I'm sure today's match will be no exception. Kenya Harlequins boast of six of the top ten try scorers in the country. The man in the middle, John Bosco Mwamba, a teacher by profession and uh, currently a candidate for IRB level three refereeing accreditation. And wishing the best of luck. Frank Sabwa. A former Kenyan international who's now Honorable Secretary. Uh, and I think those are messages to loved ones back home. <laughs> yes, uh, rugby comes or, first. Or, or to work and let, let's hope the boss understands. Yes, and it's uh, definitely a mouth-watering clash here. The second semi-final of the 2010 Kenya Cup. Kenya's Premier 15's rugby competition. Impala in the red strip, playing from left to right on your screen. Taking on contenders. Kenya Harlequin in the checkered strip. Neto Simeo starting fly half. Kenya's number okay. one fly half at the moment. Kalad, Captain. And it looks like John Bosco Mwamba. Captain Kala. Is all set and ready to go. And what promises to be a titanic battle between two great rivals, <laughs> the great tradition in rugby. Neto Simeo kicks off high. Just outside the 22. Tackle! Release! Release the ball! <laughs> Must release, guys. Again, tackler not releasing Must release. the player on the floor. Leslie Lebasia with a take. He was confident in there. He took it well. Strong. Former University of Nairobi mean machine player. Has played for Queens for the last couple of years. Has just drawn his side a penalty. And it's Peter Boga who's got a massive boot. Well, I guess this time doesn't choose to pull the trigger and opts for the safe option. Taking play just before yeah. halfway on the Kenya Harlequin side. Okay, the color, yeah. chat color. Okay, thank Let's you. Let's see what Queens do That's with my mark, first guys. line out. Referee's almost lost in that group of giants from both sides. Let him go. Quick come on, come front. on, come on. Queens look to mold it. Good body positions. Stay They've said red. It well. Red bind, red. Not bind. Much though. And now they get some momentum. Hey, bind. I want you bound, eh? Achaya with a pass connects with Andimu. And Queens look to attack from deep. And okay, that go. Was a young man, Ambunya. Okay, off your feet. 
so was dive playing schoolboy rugby last year for St. Mary's. Seven, stay on your feet. And referee says, stay on your feet. Who looked like everyone was on the ground there to me. Yeah, that was a marginal call by the referee, but he spotted it. Follow with a penalty. A lot of youth in the back line for Kenya Harlequins, like you said. Former schoolboys, Ambunya, fresh from high school, finding himself here, starting for Kenya Harlequin in this semi-final of the Kenya Cup. It's going to be Impala with an attempt at goal. Moses Kola, one of Kenya's most experienced scrum halves and most capped scrum half. He's got a, an unorthodox kicking style. It looks a bit awkward, but pretty effective because he does find the target more often than not. Has he nailed that? Yes, he has. He looks to snatch at the ball a lot of the time and doesn't have a smooth uh, motion through. But that kick was from almost 40 meters out. Very good kick indeed. Good kick by Kola. Gets his side onto the score sheet early in the match. Impala up by three. Queens will restart this and possibly get into Impala territory for the first time in the match. It's early days. The game has just begun. Number 10, talk to them. Let Both them sides. Anywhere. All prepped up, yeah. all geared up. It's all systems go in this semi-final clash. Isaac Andimu, former student at JQ Cut, who's found his way into this starting lineup at Queens very quickly indeed. Okay, rock! Not the best kick, gave Impala a lot of time. Impala, Neto can't kick it straight out, opts for the high kick down the middle. Kelvin chasing hard, Naftali Bondo took it well. Wrapped up immediately. It's a mall. Quince did well. No, no, no. David Mogere. Okay, run. Back, back. Well, Quince used to run. And Dimo again looked in two minds on whether to kick or pass it. Stay on your feet. Stay on your feet. The space on the right if Quince can use it. Victor Sudi. Former Impala player himself. Rock. Sure, will be looking back to get one red. over his old teammates. Back foot red. Daniel Kipto Lee, taking root one up. very effective. Andimu again looks for space but well defended. Joshua Gadumbi spots space very well behind the Queen's back line. And if that See. was about five meters in, it could have been very awkward for the Queen's fullback. Yes, it was. It was an intelligent kick. He just looked to keep it out bounced inside and the Queen's defense was almost torn between whether to kick it out or play the ball so it's going to be a line out to Harlequins and demo at the moment a bit predictable in what he wants to do making it very easy for the Impala backline to read lucky at the end get back and Queen's not creating much space with that line out Aboga Sends it high and across. This could go to anybody. Ambunya does well. And Ambunya clears. Victor Sudi tries to go on the outside. Offloads well to Ambunya again. No, no, we're not Advantage. That's advantage, advantage to Queens, but Queens are playing. Mogare. David Mogare. Offloads well. Good advantage play by the referee. Good play by Quinns there. They used the ball in hand well. David no Mogere on the break on the outside, on kept it in, managing to turn Not back. No penalty. Not no advantage penalty. on the penalty. So it's going to be I did not penalty say that. to Quinns. Get the clarification from me, huh? Eh? Right. Quinns, eh? Quinns looking to get parity back to the score. Well within a Borgas range. So that kick he did put a bit risky. <laughs> but um, yes, it was. But I think it went high enough to give his players time to get under it and uh, possibly one of the tactics they'll be using throughout this match. Victor Sudi, the captain on the pitch, has called for the penalty. Can they put three points on the board? Borgas doesn't take much of a run up. 
more player at highway and comes from a great rugby tradition in the family. Last and it looks very good. Outstanding kick by Peter Boga. 40 40 meter kick. Took it with so much ease and calm. Dead center. Quinn's are back on the score sheet. Three points to Impala, three points to Quinn's. Peter Boga made that look very easy indeed, and there was still much more it clear, on that I kick. If he goes down on his own, all right? If he goes down on his own. That was from almost yeah. 40 meters out. So remind them it's two tackles, eh? two on. Samuel goes short and high. Queens knock it on. And again, Impala the pressure Scrum red. from Impala. Yeah, this is Mark. Told on them. Come on, a crew player, Buyachi, who's come to the city center and is now playing for Impala. A lot of Nakuru players have actually found their way into this Impala side. Hold it! Tell a hole! Lawrence, uh, Dennis Abenga. Lawrence Boyachi, like you point out, Paul. But Impala, okay, release, driven back by Queen's ferocious tackling coming in from the Queen's back row. Obuge! Eh? Simil, decoy by the person behind. The other Simil, Mose. Gazumbi! Takes a cross kick. This could bounce anywhere. And the bounce favored Queens and rolls over. Dead. And again, that is the danger of this Impala backline. Especially when Nito Simil is releasing them with the Ian Simil, the Kenya Sevens captain on the outside. And Joshua Gadumbi and Vincent Mose. A lot of firepower there, Peter. Yes, it is. A very formidable lineup here in Pala will have. And they will look to spread it out, put the ball high up on the fangs, force Quinns to rush on the defense, but it's good play by the Red Shirts. So it's going to be a dropout. Peter Aboga. Aboga puts that ball almost where the radar can pick it up. Nice and high. But it's Mose. The chase by Quinns. Nganya doing his best. Get off, side, get, off. The tackle. get off, get off, roll away. Queens roll away, get back. Are going to be punished if they don't chase their kicks properly. Umbuge. Release it. Caller clear as well. Neto, the step. With the other step. Offloads very well. Impala in full flow. Space on the left. Can they get it? Namkos. Yes, is it? Almost there. Yeah. Is that a knock on? Oh dear. I'm lucky for Impala right there. They have the men on the outside. Good movement, yes, good yes, play. Quins are really Thank stretched you. on the defense. Impala just not able to hold on to that. You can see their body language. They feel good about this. They had men on the outside. Good straight running there by Impala. It's too close, guys. Step Desperate out. tackle by Mutai. Stopped it at just when it mattered there. And Buyachi looked to be trying to offload the ball as he was tackled. If he just kept it because he wasn't held in the tackle. Again, it's that composure. Those uh, split-second decisions that are so crucial in a match of uh, such magnitude that perhaps uh, the young man didn't realize. That's Tony Mutai, who's playing at second row today. He's very versatile, plays at 6, 7. Had a good season, Paul. I've been watching him throughout uh, the league campaign. Uh, he has been called up. And uh, Tony Mutai has been called up to train with Kenya right now, so his rugby is on an up and up. Strangely, he's wearing Time back 17 on, guys. on his back. Knock on red. Maybe it was a scrum color. Uh, Coach Edward Kenyan was playing the cards close oh, to his man, chest. Who knows? The scrum to Couch. Touch! Pulls, get you! Very experienced. Oh, oh, Tight oh, five. Sebon! Sebon coming up! Impala seem to be taking it up in the air. Leslie Lebasia hey. picks up to tie in the Impala defenders. Stay back, Red! And give Andimu some time to kick. Andimu doesn't find touch, or does he? Oh, very confidently done. Now what? Okay, Gadumbi. But they're moving backwards, surely that It looked to have been forward Thank and the refers pick that out. It's a forward Almost pass. lazy running there by Impala. No one was really going forward and that was bound to happen. They were just shifting the ball across 
no one incisive, no one really deciding what to do, and they paid the price for that ball. And that, that probably is uh, one of Impala's weak points when Neto Simiu is not around any movement to organize the attack. They do look a bit clueless. But the back three did well, got the ball back. But they didn't seem to have any idea on what they wanted to do. It's just over 10 minutes gone in this game. It's three all. Okay, is it right? Nothing in it at the moment. Hold on. Time stops the clock. Time on. Some of the young Let's Queens go. fans oh, there's more. coming with their parents. It's okay. great to see families coming out to support the game because that's how the okay. game grows. We are ready now. Um, with the young getting involved and... Just keep it straight, eh? Color, all right? Go. Crouch! The rest of the Touch. family. Pulls, get! Hold! Impala with a very good drive. Dimu with a long searching kick. I think... Not a bad kick at all. Again, but he needs to be careful with those kicks because Vincent Mose Get outside. At the back is one of the most dangerous fullbacks. Yes, he is, but Andimu possibly just trying to keep Impala within their own half. Behind so we will see a lot more of those kicks, forcing the territory and possession here by the kick. Net, Neto goes high. Abuoga. Good chase there by Oimbo. Tackle release. Back Queens foot completely right. off their feet. Referee says that's fine. Libasia finds Joker. the bulk of Zioka waiting for him. Again, Ongera. Okay, right. From Zioka once again. Back. Back to square one. And Quinns still trying to punch some balls at the base. Please. Back. And looking to suck in defenders. And now they go wide. And again, that pass is too slow. Patrice Agunda juggled it, Tackle. giving Pala time to get back. But Queens now do have some space. It's two on one. Sudi steps in and steps out. Sudi steps in and steps out. Sudi still going. Surely Queens can score from here. Mugere picks up. No, 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 get off. It's only the forwards on the left if they can move the ball. Tackle, release, Red. If Queens can move the ball. But they choose to go right. Was that the wise decision? It's a ball. It's on. It's in. Back foot red. Back foot red. Almost there. Inches from the try line. Keep to. Backwards. Okay, okay release now. Impala defending get back, get desperately. Turn the line. Turn the line. To... Keep to. Okay, release now. No, the ball. not yet. Get off. Get off. Howard, and Dimu. No, he chose to keep the ball in hand. No, that was the wrong option. Backwards. And Quinn Simpson is playing the ball on the ground. Oh dear. Was a knock on by Quinn. Good over. play by Quinn's there, eventually losing it at the end. They had the men on the outside. And Dimu possibly did not pick the right options there. And uh, you can see Naftali Bondo find Sudi on the outside. Good run by Sudi. Beats one, beats two men. He's quick. The man is strong. Just tackled before the try line. Support coming in. That is attacking rugby. Good play there by Quinns. Again, using Sudi's strength and speed on the outside. But Andimo again took the wrong option. They've been better off looking to play the ball through the hands. Because Impala was stretched out wide. But. Credit to Impala's defending as well. They made sure they shut the outside very quickly, forced him back in, and they forced the turnover. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Take a break for an injury and... Excuse me. He's going to be back. Kelvin Omiya, the man on the ground. Time back on. Former Nakuru player. And a former Red Kenya under-19 international going to toured with Kenya schools. Can, can, to Morocco. Hey, can we move this one? The post right behind us. I move this way, please. And we're ready to restart. Very okay, let's large, go. Pala. Let's go, guys. Control of Terera, Benga, and Muema. Okay, More than guys, a match for Crouch. Kenya's most experienced Touch. front row combination. Pause, engage, hold. Good Still take by Queens. Impala struggling on this one. Yes, sir. Uh, that looked to have been carried over. Carried over? Yes. It's on the line. Gonna be a scrum down Carry to Quinn's good defensive scrum. 
by Kenya Daniel Alec with the, Scrum, like you said, the front row of Joel Nganga, Vincent Tungay and Daniel Kipto, one of the most experienced front row combinations we have. They have played since high school. Actually, they could be the most experienced ball. Uh, they are definitely, and, and uh, their speed over the mark uh, just got them that edge. You could tell that Impala Crouch. Scrum was Judge. struggling right from the jig. Better take by Impala. Don't block him number nine. They look to wheel it round. Don't tackle number nine. Call out. No, 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 no. Let the ball go. Yeah. And that's a try. Kenya Alekwin with a try. They saw the line, they went for it, they knew they had it. It was a good piece of play by the checkered shirts yeah, yeah, there. And Kenya Alekwin yeah? yeah, with the first try of this match. David Mogera, the try scorer, he is a predator. He's had a good season and has got many tries. Devin Mogere is playing some of the best rugby of his life at the moment. He's a graduate from JK Ukat Institute of Technology, but strangely is now a banker. In close support, good body position, like any open side should. Over. I'm sure as a, as, a, as a former open side, Paul, you will be rooting for David Mogere as, as any open side should. But great try by the back row man there. Peter Boga with an easy conversion. So Kenya Harlequins lead this one. Ten points, Impala three. It's been a good spell of play for Quins. I, I spoke to him. But for any neutral, it is. He did what I wanted him to do. He's played very good rugby. Think of a much higher standard than the first semi-final. So, tell me your run, boys. Ten three. Hi, by Simeo again. Mugere. Takes wells. Stay back, Fred. And Demu must keep this ball in. Does well. Mose, confident take. Gadumbi, will he look not too high? I think he might have liked it to go up slightly higher, but he's got the speed to get there. But there's space now for Queens. Ubondo. Ambunya. No hands. Back. Well, he felt that, the young man. Hey, watch your foot. Jeff Ojwach. It's a mole. It's a mole. It's a mole. It's and moving. He went into contact. Vincent Ongera. Somehow Takla, found some space Takla. through that mall. Takla. The Lord got off, got off, got off, got off, got Quinn's have it. Mugger David Mugger. At scrum off. He's Pull everywhere. Away, Takla, red. Mugger is setting it up well for Quinn's Achayo. Finds Andimu. Pass goes to ground, but Ambunya recovers. Ambunya has... Takla, release. Space. Takla, get off. Takla, get off. Impala scrambling their defense across the field. Achayo. Takla, Jared Aminio sets it up. And Impala struggling to contain this rampant Queen's attack. Held up in goal. Oh dear. Was that held up? And Impala at the moment are on the back foot. That kick by Joshua Gadumbi is what opened it up Sorry. for Impala. And it looks like Richard Mose may have taken a knock. I was just trying to stem that tide Time out. of Harlequin's attack. Yes, he was. Quinn's just getting into their rhythm and keeping the ball moving. All 15 players, forwards and backs, getting involved. Could hardly tell. Look at Naftali driving off that rack, and I think that's where he gets injured. I, I do, I getting some ice that. on it. I'm sure he'll be okay. Quinn seemed to have up the tempo in the last uh, 10 minutes. Four. Yeah. Yes, Quinn's... Yeah, the, the tight I've done that. Losing. Indeed, they've the put their foot on the gas. Yeah. Yeah. Some of the fans look very pensive on the Impala side. Are we, are we on? And right, back on. rightly worried they may be because at the rate Queens let's, are attacking, let's have a bind, eh? Front this Once you engage, score and you have, you are on the Queen on, side. Eh? Are you ready now? Red? They go up. Clutch. In the last clash, clash wins uh, victorious over Impala by 21 points to draw. Can they repeat that in the semi-final? Queens go white. And Dim again, not the best person. That's very predictable. Up your feet. Queens go white now. And Dimu. 
advantage. Again, it takes the wrong option. No con cala. Yeah, and Dimu made a hash of that. He had men on the outside with runners outside like Thank Peter you. Boga. Thank you. You want to try them. Get the ball out. Let him try his defender. Just being a bit too clever with the kick and not making contact with his foot. So unlucky for Andimu there. I, th I, th I think the, the Queen's Flyer is trying a bit too hard. He needs to play what's in front of him as opposed to what he's already premeditated to do. I think that's why he's struggling. If he can just look up and, and choose the right option, what's in front of him, he will find his play much better. Pressure on that Impala scrum again. Buyachi breaks well. It's a ball. Okay, now release red. Kala, Kala, Stays release. nice and strong. Back, back, back. No, he's on, he's on. Metro Simil clears. Bondo takes a quick one. Full of running, Naftali Bondo, the Kenya 7th International. But he's isolated. He's in, he's in trouble. He's okay. He's in trouble. Lucky Vincent Ogera has the sense to be in the right place at the right time. May not have the speed of years gone by. But his sense of anticipation is second to none. Queens just outside the Impala 10 meter line. And they reorganize and slow it down. Daniel Kipto looks to generate some forward momentum. Off, off. Doesn't generate much, but money is getting back. Vincent Ongera again. Hey, let go! Almost like an energizer let go. battery, Ongera. Bafut! Yes, the Queens from three playing as a unit there. It's trying to create some space for and their again, men. And Demo finds a gap. And again. The glory is coming! I'm making sure the ball doesn't go out wide. Kipto! No con color. Daniel Kipto red. was coming round on that ball, but perhaps the pass was a bit too far in front of him. He had a, had a checkered career, Daniel Kipto. Captain Kenya uh, over one season and Captain Queens as well fell out a bit with the management, go, but now he's back in the good books and he's almost getting back to his best. This Impala control needs to get his act together. Because at the moment they're under a lot of pressure. Hold! Much better take by Impala. Very solid. He touched, play on, Lisa! We are delayed and he may be in trouble. Come on, diving over. Played it on the ground. Kola takes it quickly. Okay, With an orthodox one-handed on. pass. Oimbo. Brian Yikuli. Lizo, come on, Takla! Back, back, back! Back, Brian back! Kala needed to get that a bit quicker. Neto almost at walking pace. It's a mall. But thank God for Zioka's 120 mall, kilos. <laughs> you can be walking and still be able to get the ball back. Okay, use now off the ball! Yes, indeed, he manages to drive it down. Hands Play on the, the ball right, in hand. by the referee. Hands, hands and must be on your feet, guys. Impala seem to be tumbling over themselves there, but they have the penalty. You're not on your feet to pull the ball back. Looks like they're going Post, for posts. Eh? Excuse me, number 10. Yep, and Impala are going for posts. Looking to cut the Queen's lead to just four points. Both of these vastly experienced sides, Paul. Impala have played big matches before. They've got the big match temperament, and they know that just clawing back with the three points is something that will keep them within a striking distance of Harlequins. And uh, can Moses Kola convert this for yet another three points? He was successful earlier on Kola. Has turned out for Impala for a good number of seasons, Kola. Very experienced scrum half and a very experienced kicker. almost from a similar position to his last kick. Didn't strike it as well. Foguere takes. Did he mark it? No. Look to hesitate. Looks for Sudi. Good tackle there by Kelvin O'Neill. Net gain there for Impala though, if you think about it in those terms. That looked to be just out of uh, Kola's range. Yes, it was. He struggled on the distance with that. He didn't get much, but Sudi on the counter, convincingly tackled by Kelvin Omir. So it is going to be a line out. Well within Queen's territory, Impala. Well stolen by Mutai. Strange, strange option in the line out by Impala. Nobody jumped. 
Over. That was meant to be the decoy. But they lost it promptly. I suspect that may have been carried over. Yes, it was. Well, well, well. And Dimu not having the best of days at fly half. And uh, KCB watching intently, probably working out a game plan based on what they can see. Is it, is it, is it hooker? Is it? Yeah, it's half a mark. No, 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 no. Just, just give, just give. It's all fine, that's fine, guys. Clear. Well, a bit over eager. Probably shown the hand, but they should go up to the same place because Queens don't have a jumper. At the back there at all. Well, they go to the front this time. It works well. He covers his feet well, Malik. Queens are able to play the referee very well. Get on side. Get on side. Get on side. again. Want to suck in the defenders on the fringes before. Taking it wide. Tackle off! It is the right option because Queens are not committing too many men. Release! Tackle release! If they can get one more pick and go, but no, it needed to be quicker than that. I don't. Kelvin. Almost walking in. Tackle off! Hey, you must detach, guys! You must detach! Well, well, well. Come on! Unlucky no, for no, Kunz no, once again incurring the wrath of the player. referee there. Yes, Impala were almost lethargic on that movement from NATO, saved by the half-hearted Queen's defense on the tackle there. Didn't bind on the tackle, so it's going to be a full penalty to Impala. The game seems to have gone into a bit of a lull now with uh, Harlequins probably settling into the rhythm of play but not doing much for. Three. Captain? Well. Captain Kala, three times. Well, eh? Same offense, three Much times. closer to the post this time. Talk to your player, same offense. Eh? Oh, three a kick times, of his eh? caliber. Not losing the player. Eh? Did not be too difficult, yeah. although kicking is like golf. <laughs> even the best even the best do falter attempts. Yes, it is. The second Kenya Cup semi-final between Kenya Harlequins and Impala. Turned almost immediately, Kola. He liked it right from the moment he struck it. So Moses Kola brings the scores to 10 points to Queens, 6 points to Impala. Just 12 minutes left in this first half of the second Kenya Cup semi final. Very good crowd here this afternoon. There is a hushed silence from both sets of fans. I suspect because it's really too close to call at the moment. And Dimu with the restart for Queens hasn't kicked that where he wanted. Sliced it completely. And the tackle pressure coming on. <laughs> Appears to have been lost forward, according to the referee. So it is going to be a scrum down to Harlequins. And Kelvin Omiya will not be happy with that. Strangely looked to go behind, but the ladies in orange don't seem to think so. They come this way, please. Tough call there, Onomia. But again, you've got to, you've got to take the no, catch no. cleanly. If you don't, Touch. leave it open Touch. for a 50-50 call, especially just outside Step your 22. Down, Leslie Libasia runs backwards first. Strange play there by Kenya Harlequins. Libasia okay, runs back. Turn your feet, Red. I think lost almost Follow six meters. Please. Kipto. Please. Okay, Rumbling up. Into the 22. Mogere, but again, they all take it from standstill. No one's coming on the ball at pace. It's touched. Andimu spreads it this time. Patrice Agunda. You can rather quiet this half. Patrice Agunda. Ambunya. Gansudi. This must be a try. In. It is. to beat. He's so big and strong, almost impossible to stop at that distance. And you can see the joy on the man's face. But Patrice Sagunda was a player who made the decisive break. Victor Sudi, a beautiful shot. Sudi going over in the corner. Suspicion of a high tackle, but referee saw nothing wrong. 
Victor Sudi on the score sheet. He has been at fine form this season and his call up back into the Kenya seventh side was on tour duty with them and uh, is here doing duty for his club, Kenya Harlequin. He's on the score sheet this evening. Peter Borger attempting the conversion. the distance but just drifts wide and that try by Victor Sudi takes him to second in the Kenya National Championships on five tries and um, that was just a touch of the conversion that wasn't successful the Queen's support getting into full voice Neto Simiu very good kick Jared cannot control it is he, is he number four? unlucky by Jared when you're there just lost control we talked about it earlier it is so crucial in the restart to get your hands on the ball to erase any doubt Queens have given it away there, so it is going to be a scrum down to Impala. Can Impala make something of this? They're well within Queens' half. Queens will look to defend. The very experienced front row once again will look to put pressure on the front three of Terrera, Benga, and Wema. Kola. Simeo. Ian Simeo was at Queens the last two seasons. No, 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 no. no. Get, get, get back, get back. Well, Impala, get it back. Well, it's the front row. It looks no, might okay. be isolated. It's all happening at the breakdown here. For Impala, look like a knock on. Queens have it. And Demo, Jared. Bundled into touch. Good turnover for Harley Queens there. They were alert. They pounced onto Impala's mistakes. Jared Wynn takes it forward, puts Impala under pressure, and uh, Queens look firmly in charge of this spell of play right here. Bungled out into touch. Good tackle by Nito Simi eventually. Keep a straight line. So it's going to be a line out. Can Queens challenge? They have challenged this Impala line out before. Oh, well. The last Impala line out it was almost a comedy, and this one's okay, much in. better. Get on! And we saw it in the last match when Nakuru are not able to get any meaningful Taku momentum Taku because Taku of their line out play, and Impala are struggling with the same. Daniel Kipto! Got some space to get that bulk moving forward. Almost found the gap. Takul! Achayo. Jeff Ojoach. Takul, you know it's a ball. The Impala defense was having none of that. Joel Ganga. But still, it's just ones and twos by Queens. Effective enough, though. It's a clear release and roll away. Red. If Queens come out to the left, they space Andimu. Abuoga. Kondo. Uh, look suspiciously Revenge. like obstruction, but fine. Andimu with a feint. Roll away. Gets into trouble, Andimu. They seem to have recovered somehow. Looked like a suspicion of a knock on. Get back, get back. Referee waves play on. Achayo, Ongera, Ojoach. It is. Very heavy physical duty stuff here. Was that obstruction? And the referee is not even watching the game. Okay, let him go. I think he was looking to his touch judge for assistance on that call. He it's wasn't in a ball. position. He waves play on. Queens with the drive. They're charging he's forward. He's Can Achayo get this out? He's got men on the right. Achayo finds Andimu. Ogere. Not the best pass in the world. Agunda with a chip. Back. Oh dear, that, this could be a try. If we're going to go, let go. Can Achayo Back. get it? Can Mogere score his second try? Run away! Leave the ball! Mogere has scored, yes! Wins across the line for the third time this afternoon.
And I think he's back as the top prize scorer, Vincent Tongera, with his seventh try of the season. The former Mango high, high School student has played for Kenya 15s, is doing duty for Quincy, has crossed the try line. I'm here, I'm here. And there you see the try. David Mogere with the pick, beats one, and is tackled well by Neto. Has the presence of mind to turn. Quinn's get men behind the ball. Vincent Togera picks it, sees the line, and scores the try. Well, well, well. Almost, almost looks similar to the first game. When one team ran away with it early, Goga has missed that conversion. But Impala are too good a side to take a 26 lead for granted. Four minutes left in this first half. Some Impala fans in deep contemplation. Probably wondering where the team lost the momentum after starting so brightly. I think credit to Queens with three tries. They've taken the play up to Impala, have capitalized on a lot of Impala mistakes, but you have to give credit to the front row. They have been on the mark when it comes to the scrum down. Impala have not had a good lineup throughout this first half, so I'm sure Bill Givinji at halftime will look towards correcting that. Let's see, Simeo again, that lovely kick. Almost looked like obstruction. Mogere takes charge Let go. and owns the catch and does well. Back, eh? You need your experienced players playing those roles. Because Jared has dropped the last two kickoffs they received. And Demu, don't think that was his best option at all. And Demu is struggling. Mogere may find himself all alone. Pushed into touch. And again, the Queen's fly half, choosing the wrong option, choosing to go for the chip against a back three of Mose and Gadumbi and the danger of Ian Simu, who's been in red hot form for the Kenya Seven. If you want to keep the ball in hand, or if you're going to kick it, make sure you're able to get under the ball before it gets on the ground. Finally, Impala's line out comes good. Okay, release now! It's on your feet! Number seven! Get off! Queens all over that breakdown. Number seven, he's off, he's off his feet. He's off. He's not off. Allowing, Get off! Not allowing Impala to play. Umbuge! Umbuge still going! Don't allow it, that's right! Might be isolated! Yekuli! That's what it is! Five meters from the line. Back, back! If Impala moves, they've got numbers! Kelvin chooses to go himself. Should have passed it. Rock, rock. Could have passed it. Kola. Buyachi. Buyachi. Three meters from Kapul. the line. Rock. Impala almost Advantage. there. Neto. Mbuge knocks on. Took his eye off the Number ball. One. Number one. Why or why did he take his Number eye off one. the ball? All he needed to do was walk over. Yes, he did. He had men on his outside. He just needed to keep hold on, maybe make the pass, and unlucky for Umbuge. Nonetheless, Quinns were on the offside, so it's going to be a penalty to Impala. They will go for post. Try narrowing this Quinns lead. Almost on the stroke of halftime here. It's still early days in the game, just take the points on offer. So, the conservative but correct decision by NATO. That is one of the buildings that have come up adjacent to the ground and Raga view. Very innovative. Could be an easy tap in for Kola. Makes no mistake. 20 points to 9. 20 points to 9. Queens with a mistake right on their try line have been punished for that. So Impala reduced that lead to 11 points. And you picture that technical bench of Impala, Bill Girinji, Charles Ngovi, former Kenya players, the both of them. And now heading the technical onslaught for Impala in this Kenya Cup semi final. A picture of total focus on, by Supersport cameraman. Hold on for less, is it? And we stop the clock for... Laces, I think that... Yeah, yeah. 
What's happening with all these laces? Buck! Well, we went right through Malik's hands, but we didn't have it. Back, back red. Just inside the 10. It's two again. Okay, roll away, Douglas! The battle of the big men. Daniel Kipto straight up on Mwema. Ogere passed it to Nikuli. Space. If Impala can move it quickly. If they can move it quickly. Oh, uh, Ian Simi chose to take it, but he's done well. Use his strength. Neto again. Through his Malik. Enrique, get off! And that's the Hooter. Knocked on. Two knock ons. That After might be the last play. Referee John Bosco Mwamba calls an end to proceedings in this first half. It is Kenya Harlequins 20, Impala 9. It's been an intriguing first half. Impala started the stronger of the two teams. Were 3-0 ahead, but Queens clawed their way back and have now built up a sizable lead. But it's still too close to call. There's a lot of talent in this Impala team. And it's all to play for in the second half between Impala and Kenya Harlequins.
Records. And uh, that is a sign from one of the Kenya fans. The Elgon Cup just from the corner. And the rivalry between the two East African neighbors is always very fierce indeed. That's right, Paul. Score stand at 20 points to nine. Queens have got scored three tries. They've crossed, crossed the try line thrice. Impala with three penalties, sour, 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 making sour, it hey. nine points. Yeah. Credit to Queens for the three tries. They've played a lot of attacking and purposeful rugby. Like you say, Impala might feel a, hard, a bit hard down by a few decisions. But uh, their lineup wasn't that all, 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 all to talk about. And I guess that's some of the things they want to talk, sort out in the second half. I hope they've had a chat about it because it did let them down at crucial times. Referee John Bosco Mwamba in your picture with his two assistants. Incidentally, yes, yes, yes. all three of them are teachers. Perhaps it's uh, an educator's <laughs> team that they've put up. Oh, maybe by chance they design. Charles Cardovelis, the Kenny Harlequin's assistant coach, who's um, chosen to go into coaching after a very successful career. Had a stint in Australia as well and came back home a few years back. And, um, some of the Impala fans may be feeling a bit lonely at the moment. Because if this score does widen in Queen's favor, Impala may just as well kiss their chances of the final goodbye and the defense of their title. Yes, as we wait the restart of the second half of the 2010 second semi final of the Kenya Cup. Harlequins in the checkered strip, playing from left to right on your screen. Peter Boga with the restart. Boga puts that really high. Back! And again, Queen Sifter will control away. that. Get off there! Immediately on the front foot. Can Queens get a score early in this second half? Too slow. Keep to the well. your feet, Kala, get off! Mogere gains Still another five feet. meters. Motai. Hey, get off! Keep to again. Rara Takla, Rita Takla! Five meters from the line. Andimo! Oh dear, and his nightmare continues. It was a good pass by Achayo out to Andimu. Andimu just struggling to get his hands on that. He's not had a good afternoon so far, and uh, I guess uh, the technical will be looking at that towards sorting it out, because at n number 10, you must be spot on. In a game like this, you make mistakes like that, you will be punished. I mean, the pass was high, yes, but when you do play fly half, you've got to be able to take those passes, especially five meters Crouch. from the try line. Touch. Such Skate. a crucial match. Hold it. Keep it straight. <laughs> Come on, guys. Try yes. straight, okay? That Queen's front row, nowhere near straight, scrimmaging yes. straight. They immediately took and, and spun it round. And at times, players don't understand it's more for their safety more than anything else. Ian Simu. Not his best kick ever. <laughs> Eventually finding touch somehow Ian Simiu. Patricia Gunda seemed to be taking photographs of the ball. Instead of catching it, and the fans on that side seem to agree. The awkward bounce of a rugby ball is uh, something that you, you can't just really, you can't tell how it's going to bounce anyway. Yeah. 
45, keep 32. Having Bala sorted out. It's their ball. It's their ball. It's a penalty. Beautiful line out. Well taken. Good drive. Still set. Bella. Okay, took it well. And they're driving well. The ball in control at the back. Wins seem to have stopped it. It's disintegrating slightly now. Caller releases. Semil puts that really high in there. Back. Neto does well. It's on your feet. And Impala have men if they can move it quickly. Back. Daniel Kipto was hovering somewhere in the midfield. So the offside, but he got away with it. Leslie Libas here to Sudi. This could be dangerous. Sudi takes a run. Uses his pace and power. Quincy, quick ball from here. It's okay, number seven, good. Okay, roll away, roll away, get back. Not the best option. Get back. By Quincy, but they've reorganized the attack. The slow ball has given. Quincy, Impala tend to reorganize the defense. Better play by Alequin, setting the attack up. They took their time to reorganize it. They could have given Impala time to re-strategize. And they set up a ball. This could be dangerous for Impala. Could be really dangerous. Bulgaria has it! Bulgaria scores. David Bulgaria has crossed the try line for the fourth time. Kenya Alequin's early in the second half. Within three minutes, Quinns have scored their fourth try in this match. Paul, <laughs> is that a sign? That is the mark of an experienced group of forwards. They regrouped, reorganized well. Are they ready set up on? a ball yes. in open play. It's never an easy Are they skill. Ready on? And again, they were so aware of their position. I mean, Impala just had no chance in stopping that. For his second try, David Mogere has scored. And the off-field entertainment continues. And Amboga add the two points. Struck it well, but off target. Impala, three substitutions for Impala. Polo Imbo, Frank Dong, and Alvin Rocher coming off as well. And Innocent Simil, Lawrence Terrer. And Dioka Mwema, the third substitution. They were always bound to make those substitutions, Paul. Dioka Mwema, the front row, started off, has come off. So Impala bringing in fresh legs into their scrum. They have been struggling in that department. I think this might be a signal for Edward Kenyan, the Harlequins coach. Reflect some change, a beautiful kick by Ndimu. Will that give him confidence after having a nightmare? And Impala effecting three changes. The line is a mark, huh? Frank Dong came on, Alvin Rocher. Hey, half a meter from the line. Alvin Rocher coming on for Zioka Mwema. Very crucial substitution there in the front row because Joel Nganga, Daniel Kipto seem to be running riot in the tight for Harlequins. It's a crucial substitution. That Impala line out is in all sorts of trouble. It seems to be a breakdown in communication completely. Rolling! Red! The fresh legs of Frank Dong with a thumping tackle on Joel Nganga. Achayo. Andimu. Too high. Again. All the work to do, beat five, six defenders. He was strong on his feet. Look at that. Vincent Mosse just couldn't hold on to him. Moses Kola stepping in eventually. And there you have him. The former St. Mary's schoolboy. Just turned 18. Yes, you see his face. He is disappointed. Sorry? But I'm sure he's going to okay. get a ch second chance to run at them. Good play by Ambunya. I like remember the straight box, eh? Okay. again. Dutch! And it's that center pairing. Coach Bill Gilinji needs to do something with his centers. 
Because at the moment, Ambunya and Patricia Gunda, five. I just cut it through them like a knife through butter. Five, eh? Some of the Queen's fans get to the ball. Big support of Kenya. Colour ball. Taken over. Scrum down. Colour ball. Are we ready? Crouch. Uh, this could be trouble Touch. for Impala. Hold this it, guys. Hold it. Very strong indeed. Will stay they go back, for stay back. Hey, stay bound. It's okay, it's okay. Not effect. No, no effect. But this is They seem to be dropping this too often than not this good side. With the quality they have, you'd expect them to be holding on to those balls. Patrice Agunda, with an unlucky knock on there, he will be disappointed with that because they had a good position to make a good attack. Ask you to go back many do. Argue still a young man, such as only 20 years old. Perhaps he'd be better suited playing at back row. Not a natural center, but he works really hard on his basic skills. Touch! Hold it, guys! Okay, stay bound, Kala! Much better He's scrum from Impala. Neto Semir, risky, but looks like it's paid off. Judge it to perfection. And it's Namkos. Namkos, will he make it? Will Namkos make it? Will Namkos make it? It's Nikuli. Will he make it? Super try. Yeah, there was no stopping Impala there. Sublime. They had men behind it. Sublime rugby. Quinn struggled on the defense. Neto Semir doing a lot of the donkey work there setting up the supporting players. Look at that. Beating all two, three defenders, stepping on the gas, finding his support in Brian Nikuli. Nikuli just tackled, had the presence of mind to offload it. NATO coming in on the support, could not stop them. Great try by Impala. That is top class rugby. The kick by NATO was judged to perfection. Amazing, amazing. Ian Simu tucked the ball under one Nikuli. Brilliant tackle by Ambunya. You thought he had stopped Sorry. it with that tackle. No, no, I'm telling But Nikuli with that control Thanks, in the tackle and Simil supporting from right behind. That is a good example for any young player on how to keep the ball moving forward and how to keep the ball alive. Can you run, huh? Color. Indeed, that is class rugby. Moses Kola with a successful conversion. Strikes it well, quite easy. It's Almost an 11 point minutes. game. It's an 11 point game now. You thought Timmy had made it. You thought Nikuli had made it. And you thought Ambunya had stopped it. But there you are. Easy as you like. Let's play, let's play. Let's play. Well, well, well. 25 16. We have a game on our hands. It's a great try scoring game here. Conditions favor running in open rugby, and both teams are doing exactly that. If Kenya Harlequins thought this was going to be a walk in the park in this second half, they must think again. The defending champions. The clear lease! I'm not going to take this line down. You can't pick the ball. Easy, easy. Easy, easy. Easy, easy. And uh, he thought he was in the clear. Okay, Queens will be thinking no of making substitutions in our picture. Yeah, there was yeah, Alan Onyango. Yeah. I'm sure the yeah. Queens tech technical bench will okay. be looking to making some changes here. Impala have brought on fresh legs, okay. and you've seen the results. I think Coach Edward Kenyan needs to ring the changes because the mobility that Impala have, have got, okay. they've sacrificed All right. on the way to the scrum. Coach, touch. But more than game in open play. Steady. And I'm sure the Come last. Up, please. 30 minutes of this game. Here, just ask us to stop. Depend a lot on who can move yeah. around the yeah. field. Yeah. 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 Yes, it definitely will. You see Rachel and Don all on. Touch! Who's engaged? Hold, guys! Benga and Wema off, so they've got Stay fresh bound. legs in Number there. six! Will he try that cheeky chip again? Ooh, interesting kick by Simeo. I think he was looking to probably do the same thing again. Yes, he was, and that seemed to have skewed off the side of his boot. So, not such an effective kick by Simiu there. Karimi. Gives Harlequins a chance for an attacking line out. Chua Queens sense the danger with Impala coming through in this one, and they'd want to put this game away if they're able to as early as they can. Okay. Can they sort out their line out? Imerudi, Imerudi, sir, Imerudi. The Queens line out has been rock solid so far, but still no indication of activity on the Harlequins bench. 
Daniel Kipto plods along. No, 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 red, red off. Red off. Hey, don't, don't step on him. Don't step on him. Don't step on him. No, sir. Easy, guys. I thought the ref was going to penalize the Impala Tackler for not rolling, rolling away there. They are going forward. But it's going to be I a scrum down. To him. I was talking to him. Okay. Well, well. Took him a bit of points, eh? I can, I can hear you now. I can hear you now. The players, but I, I doubt if he'll have any luck with, with how close this game is. Sorry. And there's a Time call out, from guys. the third judge. Time out. Sorry. It's, it's too close to the scrum. Eh? Time out called by referee. On the attack. Quinn's almost unstoppable on that pick and drive ball. They're looking good, they're strong on that, and Impala yes. just yes. unable to yes. stop yes. it. Yes. So let's see whether they can translate yeah, we'll this scrum down advantage front into front points. Front row. Yes, two, three, four. Well. Crouch. Brian Nikuli appearing Touch to balls. struggle. Engage. Hold, guys, hey, go, hold, hold. By Quinn's. Might have been penalized there for driving in early. Listen, we have to wait for the ball. I suspect what Queens are going to, are going to try and do is hit, wheel it intentionally to the right and Leslie Lebasia to pick up. Crouch. Because at the moment, Impala only have one person on the blind. Oh dear. Oh dear. Beating in the scrum. <laughs> That's the first call we've had like that. The whole afternoon, and uh, just, Achayo just, just. will not be happy with himself on that. And so Impala saved <laughs> by a Quinn's error. It was a free kick, so it's going to be a line out. Kenya Harlequin. Okay. Substitution what number? Shot number? Impala again. The fourth substitution. My mark, eh? My mark, Tom guys, my mark. Mau. Get in, get in, get in. No. Get in. No. I get in. Malik in, in, in. inside, inside. No. 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 Check off the five, off the five. Yes, Stay. The medical student Get outside, eh? At the Nairobi University. Comes on, perhaps to assist with this Impala lineup okay, that has been creaking. Hey, get out, you can. <laughs> Number seven, coming in from the side, bro. Well, uh, well, the referee has called that against Kenya Harlequin, so it's a penalty. Nato Simi with a clearance. Does not seem to find touch. <laughs> Naftali. <laughs> oh, good kick. And that is a close call. <laughs> In error there, could call have given position away. No. He seemed to have carried the ball out, but the touch had just ruled otherwise. So it's a line out smack on the half. Way line. What's up, guys? And Kola no, no, no. trying we to tell the referee that it's straight time, out. Guys, okay? We've got to play. Five meters We've from the trail line. Uh, Scrum must will always try and pull something. Game is on, eh? 42, 57, 42, was on that in a flash. 
Very well done by Gala showing all his experience. Jeff Ojoach. Bit of a step. Okay, run! What will Andimo do from here? Telegraphed. This could be trouble. Yes, very, uh, very lucky for Queens if Impala had got that turnover and spread the ball to the right. They were really struggling. They seem to be looking for a lot of cut balls back in and not working at all. They just need to keep it simple, get the ball out to the flanks. They've got men quick enough to get the support there, and that'll probably work better for Harley Quinns. They've given it their way yet, away yet once again. It's all very predictable, and it's all coming from uh, Andimu at fly half. And again, he's not playing what's in front of him because he's crouch. He's looking Touch. to play whatever they've set. Hold, hold, hold. Impala able to read it well. If that wasn't skew, <laughs> didn't look straight at all. But uh, play on. Referee's closer than us, Peter. Again, Impala are playing way behind the gain line at the moment. No hands now. Leave it off, off your feet. Hardly off your feet. Like get off their feet there. Kola gets it out. Could be dangerous. Nanga does well. It's on the tackle at least. This could be dangerous. Umbuge. Undressed, half undressed by Sudi. And again. Number seven, Nichkala. Advantage, obstruction. Sorry. What's going to no, happen no, here? No. Kevin. Rachel. It is a bit scrappy there. I was waiting for the referee's whistle. Scrum, Lots of things on and off the ball there. He brings it back to the original knock on. It's going to be a scrum down to Quinns there. Good defense it by is. the leaders, Kenya Harley Quinns. It's good defense and Mbuge substitution color. Needs to dress up. Well, well, well. Sydney Ashioya coming on for Naftali Bondo and Alan Onyango, no, okay. Queen's captain for the year 2010, comes on for the two try scorer in this match, Let's go, guys. David Mogere. So those are key, key substitutions in this game. What a sub to bring on. One of Kenya's best flankers on your bench and coming on. Crouch. Touch. 20 minutes to go. Quinn struggling at the breakdown. Jared Owen puts the side down, cleans up well. Advantage. Referee playing advantage. To him back. <laughs> and that's. <laughs> Did I just see a uh, well, line side, side flanker? At first receiver kicking for touch. Get up, yes, get he up, did. Get he up, knew please. he had the advantage. Get up. Probably trying to just exercise Side that entry. kicking, uh, that boot. Yeah. Be careful, doesn't do Come himself some on. damage exercising his kicking boot. Leslie Lebasia seems to... So, Mark Kala, let's go. ...done himself some damage in the tackle. Always plays his heart out, Lebasia. He does things that are almost unthinkable and you know he puts his body on the line a fantastic rugby player has emerged as a very solid man at number eight over the years and he's back up on his feet tide will be happy with that peter boga with the clearance to touch so that is uh, line out for kenya eloquence just shot of the ten good guys huh Listen, listen, jumpers, huh? let the ball travel five, please, huh? if you can. Referee begging them to get the ball to travel five. Not the best pass out, Libasia gained some head of Dakla steam release. from a starting Dakla. start. And Dimo again looking for that pocket at the back. Has he judged it well? That is judged to perfection. Now, I've seen Isaac Andimu, Andimu pull those off in practice. He hasn't done any yet in the near thinkable pass. And right then, when he it's needed to, tenor. he has pulled it off. Great kick by Andimu. That's it high up in there. Looks for the space at the back. The back okay, three are Impala at sixes and sevens okay, trying to get to that ball. Sal, and just finds touch. Great kick. 
Let the ball travel five. Stay inside. Stay inside five. Perhaps Brian has a bit guilty of not thinking he'd actually find that spot behind him. Wonderful technique. Now this Impala lineout has not been convincing. Well, it comes good at a crucial time. They needed that. Strange decision by Impala to drive. But the Queen's backline had already enroached way before they had gone off the map. Number three! Number three! Queen's not committing men. For now, to the mall. Impala with a strange wobbly old kick. Trouble. Trouble. Trouble for Impala. Uh, the pass again going behind the player and Aboga has to go back and fetch it. Okay, Lola, Lola, yes! And when you've got power like Aboga, I guess if the pass goes behind you, you can always get yourself out of trouble. Jeff Ojo! Jeff Ojo! Jeffrey or George was over the try line the second time it has happened. He cannot believe this. He was through the line. Tony Mutai with a dummy gives it to a George. No defender. One man to beat beats the man, and he just needed to ground the ball. No, I, I can't oh. tell. I can't well, tell. Well, there was a uh, I tell from you can understand that, but ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's he was showing the ball. Unlucky for Jeffrey doing, George okay? there. Yeah. Oh boy. Time out for lessons. <laughs> Well, uh, Queens rule those two missed chances. Ambunya earlier and Jeff Ojoach and concerned fans wondering what is will, going on. Will they live to regret those two drop balls close to the try line? I love our word with them just now. Okay? Yeah, guys, both scrums, eh? Straight, okay? All right. Got a penalty on there that? We have no more, okay? Right. Don't that. Straight, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Spectators here. All to play for with 17 minutes to go. Are we ready? Hey! Queens are leading. Are we ready? Yes. The nine Touch. points are here. Who's yes. the scrum down Hold right it on the up on your feet, guys. And now! Tall is scrum by Impala. Stay back, Call up, puts it high up with a box kick. Can he find touch? Does not find touch. Picked by replacement Sydney Ashoya. Steps on the gas. Get off. Russia still not out of trouble yet. Achai has been wrapped up in that mall somewhere in there. It's a mall, it's moving, guys. Okay, off the ball, off the ball, off the ball. Really, too many bodies. Off the ball, guys. Stop. Stay. The ball, yeah, it's coming. It's coming through. Again, Queen's pick and go. If Queen's score now, it'll be crucial in this match. Almost. Show your feet, Kala. Queen's player has not off off your, Get off the ball. Show your feet, Kala. Will they pick and go again? Yeah, yeah. Probably will. It's played. The bus here. It's a mole, eh? Still inside, still inside number eight! Trying to force his way through that mass of players. What's the outside line, should right? Should be a meter only. Thank you. Inches. <laughs> yes, for Queens, this is crucial. Can they convert this to four? Oh, they They're putting the pressure here. Red, 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 red. They need to get it out. I tell you, wrapped up in okay, that. Okay, leave now. Leave now. Leave now. Leave now. Leave now. Okay, leave now. Red, leave red. It is gutsy stuff here. But Impala have pressured them, forced the turnover. Unlucky for them there. Queens really needed to convert that to points. I'm out. But it's good defending and credit to Impala. They have turned it over. The man down on the ground, Joel Nganga. It's a knock on by Kala. Scrum red. Three chances for Queens to put this game away and put some daylight between them and Impala, and they have not done so. Definitely no agreement. 3D. 3D. Time back on. 3D. 3D to scrum to Impala. Connor looks to be putting the ball suspiciously skewed. Will the referee spot it? It's a red ball, eh? <laughs> Let's see. <coughs> very, very good scrum, guys. All right. Crouch. Touch. Pull. Get. No. Hold. Hold. Good take by the Queen's front row. Come on, guys. Kola is experienced enough to know if he puts the ball in, then 
Can they turn the tide and, like you said, put some daylight between them and Impala? They need to score. They've been here for the last 10 minutes. Can they convert this pressure to points? Impala try and clear their lines once again. Neto off his left leg, still in his 22. It's intense pressure by Quince. They know this is a crucial period in the match. They know they need to get a score. Yes, and uh, they've got a chance once more with this line out. Look to Quince to play the short line out and drive it. Impala will be looking to defend against that. Don't move. Can Quince and Tungera sort the line out out? Well, take this no, no. well done, Quince. Stay bound. Red bind. Quince with a drive. Jared the wing there. You can see him just urging them on. The body positions of the last three people are fine. It's the front. That's the problem. They won't gain much momentum because Kipto's body and his back is skewed. So they've got to get this out. And Demo. And it's all at almost okay, walking nothing. pace. And again, and Demo. It's a ball. Here we go. Okay. Quince get it back. It's still all Harley Quince at the stay, moment. Stay back foot. Stay back foot. Number 18. Number 18. It is always a problem in a game. If a team soaks in all that pressure and survives, more often than not, end up going to score on the other Sir, side. Hey, more than that. Take care, a child looks for his fly half who's having a bit of cramp. Ashoya, three on two. And Patrice Agunda again cuts back feet. in. And no one's on their feet at all. Coming round. Tony Mutai. It's Quinn's throwing everything. But the kitchen sink at Impala now. Rock! Leave with the ball! Don't touch! Don't touch! Sir! Is this a turnover? Advantage! Oh no! There's space on the left! Advantage. If they move it quickly! There's space on the left! Can they move it? Oh no! The referee spotted a forward pass and has called for the forward pass. No advantage! So, uh, no point by Carlos. The players don't seem to have heard it. But there was a call. Bosco Mwamba has called it back. Advantage. For the knock on actually, so no advantage. It is going to be a scrum down to Impala. Probably the call came from the touch judge for a forward pass. What shot number? Again, shot number. Simil. Shot number. Hard call, tough call. Shot number. Number 11. Number 11. Coming, coming on for Harlequins. Is he out already? Leon Adongo. Okay. Replacing Thank Peter you. Boga. Leon Adongo, older brother yeah, of Dan Adongo, who plays for the Vodacom Sharks in South Africa. Are we ready? Yeah. No, no. Let's go in. Ref, ref, ref. Oh, guys, we've talked about it. Eh? No, you can, can just go on. Eh? We don't have to stop the game. Let's go. Crouch. Touch. So Leon Adongo, the replacement easy, easy. for Peter Boga. Easy. Are we ready now, guys? Yes, sir. Touch. Pose, gauge. Seven, two, six. Stay bound. Six. How many scrums can you have on your five-meter line in a match and not concede? Right. Almost seems like deja vu, Peter, watching a rerun. Five-meter scrum on Impala's try line. Yeah. They clear the ball just outside the 22. Okay, Queens line out okay. back to five meters. Ah. Incessant pressure from Queens here. On the mark. Impala soaking all yes, the time. Don't move, don't move, don't move. What Number will two. break this deadlock? The line out once again. Well Jared. taken. Well taken by Jared away. Ball is at the back with Libasia Impala. Queens drive. Body position. They're going forward well. Impala struggling. They're struggling to get back in time. But again, Queens haven't been patient enough. It was body position. And again, Nang has broken. No. And they're back to five meters away from the Impala try line. Ball is out. Ball is out. 
And him with a little goose step. Sudi, strength. Just unlucky once again. The forward pass called by the referee. Ojuach was out in the free space. <laughs> and, uh, you know, that's such as such the game of rugby. Such as uh, you see the pass out by Andimu, finds Sudi, pops his defender, checks him, him in the spot, then makes the pass out. Eight and ten color. Eight and ten color. Substitution. Well, well, well. I'll tell you in a moment. I'm doing substitution. Substitution. Chris Odor. Eight and ten. Last ten minutes of this game. That's the right call to make by Coach Edward Okay, Pinan. complete. What's your question? And the Mad Mountain. Yeah, it's already, it's already in. So the 22. Chris Odor coming on for Isaac Andimu. And George Odipo, the big man, coming on for Leslie Lebasia. What a game Leslie has had. And uh, he'll take a deserved rest. Step up. Step up. Step up. Thank you. Can Impala yeah, you out of this death grip that Queens have on them? They have not moved out of their 22 for the last 10 to 15 minutes. Something has got to give. And then Impala go and score on the other side. Nikoli. Advantage. It's Nikuli in support. Can Impala drive it? Advantage over. Sit back. Sit back. back. We need to be Bantage careful over. and stay on their feet. Well, they've managed to regroup. Better organizing. Go oh, away, oh, 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 that was a pamper. Well, that all happens when you go route one. Take the class, please. Look at the back. Pause the scholar. Release the class. Release, release. Release the ball. The ball is still have it. We're in the last seven minutes of this match. It's only nine points in it. Nail biting stuff here. Impala throwing everything the ball. Finally breaking the block Queens had on them in the 22. In a good attacking position here, can they convert this pressure? Well, 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 it's just like we said a few minutes ago. That break, I suspect, was... Impala have another substitution. Let's go. Let's go, Scum. Great discomfort. Have done his ankle in on the tackle as he gets a break. Let's go, guys. Let's go, guys. Is he a, is he a front row? Let's play. Yeah, are time running. Let's play, guys. It's gonna be a scrum down. Let's play. Father will have a put in. Right. Can Quinn's defend this? Crouch. Touch. Pose gauge. Easy. Is that play on the stick? Uyachi. Okay, roll away, Kala! Strange pass indeed. Again, the disorganization in that attack by Impala, they didn't do themselves any favors at all. Red, come on. Seven minutes. Six off, six red. Duncan Ekasi is off, huh? Okay. Comes on for Sejaleo. Five minutes to play. All to play for by both these two sides. Impala need to score twice to get ahead of Quinns. Quinns have been dominant in the second half, putting pressure on Impala right in their 22. Impala finally breaking out of that. Right now it's a scrum down. Quinns with a put in. Oh dear. Oh dear. Ashoya did well. And Ashoya is through. Sydney Ashoya with a pace. Can he make it? Oh, what a tackle. What a tackle by Vincent Mose. That was a big tackle by Mose. Put everything he had into it. Big tackle on Ashoya. 
eventually spilling the ball, got his shoulders in and unlucky. That's the third time we've seen Quinns drop the ball like that on the tackle. Twice in front of the line and once there by Sydney Ashoya. Unlucky once again for Quinns. Inside both say they didn't play at all. Time, time. And perhaps a matter of concern for Coach Edward Kenyan is the ball retention and make it steady. Wait for the ball. Crouch. He just wants to think whether Ashoya should have just put the boot on it and set up the foot race. But right now, Pola finds Nato. He coolly cuts back inside. Well tackled by Onyango. Very good tackle by Onyango. Read it well. Space here if they can move it quickly. Advantage okay. offside color. Okay, in two minds about what to do. Keep off. Keep off. Keep off. Keep off. Keep off. Dan Daniel keep advantage. doesn't look. No advantage. Kala offside. Very happy. Five minutes. Five minutes the call from the referee. Not his best kick. Yes, number one. Season. Number one. Neto. Number one. Not his best kick, and you can see the crowd here. Everyone pensive. The Queen's technical bench up in arms at that call. Not deserving the comments for the referee. Watch your mark. Four. Watch your mark now, eh, Fred. Eh? The tension all Fred, over Edward Kenyan's body language and his face. He still has his sunglasses on, although the sun has gone down. Come on, come Stolen. on. Stolen. Stay. Chris Odor, woeful pass, but it finds its target anyway. Ambonia, not. Lee Jackla. Oh dear. Coming in from the side. Oh dear. Bala will take a quick one from here. Rest assured. Started. Oh dear. And what a restart by that Impala, what was that? <laughs> I almost thought he was passing it to someone else. Nonetheless, Impala going forward. Strong defense, Tony Mutai. Wraps up, Roll ball away. and all. Great defense. Oh, the space, the space on the right, the space on the right. It's Neto Simu. Uyachi. Again, taking the ball far too behind. Uh, it was a tackle. He must join the tackle from the wrong side. And again, it's now there's advantage. momentum. Now there's momentum. Ekasi. Get off, get off, get off. Neto walking. Oh no, that's not the right option. And what is Leon doing? Fortunate that he had gone out into touch. <laughs> Leon Adongo, I think. Uh, We're in the final me. minute. Of this match, and it looks like it's going to be no, 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 Queens in the final, unless Impala can pull something out of the hat. It looks like it will be Kenya no, Alequins versus this. KCB. And the fight it's seems to have gone out Let's of go. this Impala side. We started with so much promise. We're coming to 30 seconds. Yes, indeed it has. You could tell the body language of Nato Simiyu on that ball. He wasn't really interested, just got it almost hey, up, brought it along. So Impala right now Let's go. have a chance to pull something back if they can, but it's all indicators that Queens are going to run away with this. We've taken the game to Impala for the last 79 minutes, incessantly attacking, prodding. It's been an all 15-man game for Harlequins. Can Impala finish with a late flourish? It's all over. No matter what happens now, the defending champions are going to go out of this year's championship. Ekasi. We're well within extra time now. Impala with the advantage. The referee seems to want to get some sunny to into this. Slow it down. He'll have a word with both captains. It's not slow down. And you should slow it down, okay? Right? So I want your hands off, okay? Thank you. Excuse me, ref. One question. No, they can't play. Get off. Let it go. Let it go. Impala want to 
finish with a flourish. The wounded champion, Queens, are having none of that. It's Rachel. That's not so strong. How are you going over? No call. No call. No call. Cup. They came close last year. Bitter disappointment for a lot of these players. Y yes, this def year. definitely. Impala will be disappointed, but all credit goes to Queens. They came out strong. They've scored four tries in this match. They never looked like relenting at any point. Made a few basic mistakes. They would have put this game long away, but uh, those mistakes cost them, and it's true. But final result, Queens victorious. They will play KCB in next week's final. Yes, indeed, and we'll go down pitch side. Why will John? Herbert Moshiro, who's got interviews with coaches are from the, the two teams will be going there shortly. But that's the score, 25-16, pitch side Herbert. Game. The game is over and the final result, Queens 25, Impala 16 and what a game it was. Queens qualified to play KCB in next week's final, but with me is the captain of Impala, Nato Simiu. Nato, as the defending champions of the outgoing champions, what went wrong today? Uh, mainly a tribute to our defence. Our defence wasn't up to scratch and Queens took advantage of that and scored some points. Well, but uh, with the I Ian Simiu back and uh, Brian Yikuli, Impala today were playing a notch higher and then uh, it all disappeared early in the second half. Yeah, uh, obviously they contributed but it was majorly a team effort. But I'd say when push came to shove, our defence uh, let us down. Anyway, you can see Impala improving from here on. I mean, I know it's... Uh, only the semi-final, but there's still more in the season, the Enterprise Cup. Uh, I guess we'll go back to the drawing books. Uh, we accept the result as it is. Just have to work harder for any subsequent cups. And believe we'll come back firing and playing the way we want to play. Nejo Simi, the captain of Impala, giving us his opinion of the game. And with me is his brother, the captain of Kenya Harlequins, Victor Sudi. This hurdle over, one more in the final. Yeah, uh, it's good to win, especially uh, through... Character shot by the team, great defense in the end, and just helps us to build on next weekend's final. Not the smoothest of games, but uh, Queens seem to have tied it up very early, very focused, and uh, even after going 3 0 behind, you never panicked. Yeah, it's a game of uh, any final, uh, semi quarters, it's a game of chances. Uh, we got our opportunities, we took opportunities, and at the end of the day, we, we took the day. As the game continues to go on, Queens seem to, seem to be getting stronger and stronger, especially with the substitutions that took place. What do you attribute this to? But this is just down to hard work. A lot of hard work we put through the season. Uh, we have a very strong squad. Even our, our results are quite capable of even representing the national team. So we are good. When they come in, they raise the tempo and it's, it's a good team to play for. KCB, your opponents next week. Any take on them? Uh, we'll take a game at a time. Uh, we'll look at the game they played against Nakuru. Uh, pick out their strengths and weaknesses. And I believe we'll come out and give a good show next weekend. Thank you very much, Victor Sudi. That was the captain of Kenya Harlequins leading his team to the final. Back to the studio for some highlights.
Breathtaking action at the RFEA ground. It's been two thrilling games. KCB taking on Nakuru victorious on that. There you had it, 2010 KCB winning that. And Harlequins in the mouth-watering clash of the day, Paul, 25-16. Yes, it is, and it's going to be KCB versus Kenya Harlequins next Saturday, 17th of April, here at the same ground in the final of the top club competition in Kenya. It has been a day of emotion, lots of tension, some heartbreak for some of the teams and it has been a pleasure being with you all but join us next week for the final of the kenya club championships here from the rfe grounds from me paul Odera and peter chola it's goodbye <laughs>